Sean Cassidy became a teen sensation in the mid-1970s, thanks to his charm and musical talent. As the son of Hollywood stars Shirley Jones and Jack Cassidy, and the younger half-brother of David Cassidy from The Partridge Family, Sean seemed set for stardom from the start. While still in high school, he landed a record deal and quickly rose to fame with several hit albums. In this video, we'll explore his early rise to fame, why his career took a different direction, and the reasons why Sean isn't in the spotlight much anymore. Meteoric Rise Sean Cassidy was a rising star in L.A., landing his first record deal with Warner Brothers at just 17 in 1975. His debut album, Sean Cassidy, came out in 1976 and featured the hit single Da Du Ran Ran, which shot to number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Over the next few years, Sean quickly became a teen sensation, often being compared to his famous brother David. He released three more albums during that time, Born Late, Under Wraps, and Room Service, and scored several top ten hits with songs like That's Rock and Roll and Hey Deanie. At the height of his popularity, Sean appeared on the covers of teen magazines like Tiger Beat, and played to sold-out crowds filled with adoring fans. Despite the fame, Sean later admitted he was never fully comfortable being labeled a teen idol, having seen the ups and downs of pop stardom through his brother David's career. Breaking New Ground As Sean's pop star career took off, he ventured into acting in 1977, starting with a guest role on Police Story. This appearance led to an audition with Universal Studios landing him the role of Joe Hardy in the Hardy Boys' Nancy Drew Mysteries alongside Parker Stevenson. The show, based on the popular book series, aired from 1977 to 1979 and followed the Hardy brothers solving mysteries each week. His role on the series boosted his fame, earning him heartthrob status and more acting gigs, including the 1978 TV movie Like Normal People. He also briefly appeared on General Hospital, but eventually decided to step away from both acting and music after a few years. Retreat from Stardom In early 1980, at just 21, Sean played his final concert in front of 55,000 fans at the Houston Astrodome. As the teen pop craze faded and his success dwindled, Sean made a deliberate choice to step away from both music and acting. Unlike his half-brother David, who struggled with substance abuse and the pressures of fame, Sean embraced a quieter, more normal life in the suburbs, staying out of the spotlight. He said that this long break likely saved him both professionally and personally. Through most of the 80s and early 90s, he focused on raising a family and only dabbled in creative work through local theater productions. Broadway and American Gothic in 1993, Sean teamed up with his brother David for a year on Broadway, starring in the musical drama Blood Brothers. The intense theater experience reignited Sean's creative spark, inspiring him to develop his own projects. Just two years later, in 1995, he got his big break when CBS picked up the pilot script he wrote for the Southern Gothic horror thriller American Gothic. Although the show only lasted one season, it became a cult classic and marked Sean's shift from acting to creating and producing behind the scenes. This pivotal moment launched his successful TV writing and production career, which continues to this day. Television writer and producer In the 25 years since American Gothic made Cassidy a notable writer, he's built a successful career in TV. He's written, created, and produced several hit dramas and genre shows. A standout moment was producing the 1997 fantasy series Roar, which featured a young Heath Ledger. Cassidy later worked on the CIA drama The Agency and the sci-fi thriller Invasion in the early 2000s. More recently, he was an executive producer and writer on NBC's New Amsterdam, from 2016 to 2022. His work often explores deep moral conflicts, the supernatural, and human psychology. 
Sporadic Returns to Performing Although Sean stepped away from performing decades ago, he has occasionally returned to the stage. In the 90s, he did tryouts in regional theater, and in June 2023, he brought his autobiographical one-man show The Magic of a Midnight Sky to Off-Broadway. The show saw Sean reflecting on his early fame, family dynamics, and personal growth, while also mixing in performances of both his old pop hits and new songs. The reception was positive, with Variety praising his unexpected honesty. This limited New York run was Sean's first significant performance in over 40 years, proving he still connects with longtime fans. However, at 63 and with a successful behind the scenes career, more tours are unlikely. Sean's been married three times. His first marriage in 1979 to model Ann Pennington lasted 14 years and produced two children. In the mid-90s, he married actress Susan Dial, having one child before divorcing in 2003. Since 2004, he's been married to producer Tracy Lynn Turner, raising four children together, a father of seven with kids ranging from their teens to 40s, Sean considers fatherhood his greatest achievement. He's also spoken lovingly about his relationships with his late parents, Shirley Jones and Jack Cassidy, and his late half-brother David. After David's death in 2017, Sean reflected, I'll carry him along with the funny, sad, extraordinary days we shared, none more filled with love than the last few at his side. Where is he now? At 63, Sean Cassidy is still active in the entertainment world, currently working as a producer on New Amsterdam, which is now in its fifth and final season. On the personal side, the former teen heartthrob enjoys a quieter life at home, raising a big family with his wife Tracy. While his early pop star fame may now feel like a distant memory from the 1970s, Sean has rekindled his love for performing through his recent one-man show. Reflecting on his winding career and various roles over the years, he humorously says, I have a weird resume. I just do. Nostalgia seems to have softened his view of his early success as a pop sensation, even though it was a brief but intense part of his life. Now, in his mid-sixties, Sean seems content, balancing his work both on stage and behind the scenes as he continues his unique and fulfilling journey in show business. Now it's your turn. What's your favorite memory from Sean Cassidy's career? Share with us in the comments.